Hello, this is Isabella, and thank you for tuning in. Today's book is "Good Night, Sleep Tight: Ways to Banish Bedtime Worries," written by Amber Stewart and Leon Marlow. By the way, if you are new to this channel, here you'll find plenty of children's books read aloud by me. Books will be for ages three to eight years old. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. So you don't miss anything. And with that being said, let's jump right in. It was bedtime for Bunton. My little bear cub must be tired," said Mummy. After such a busy day. Sweet dreams," said Daddy. As they kissed him good night, Button thought sleepily about his day and wondered what his dreams might bring. He remembered lazing in the early morning sunshine, climbing with his big sisters, playing by their favorite pool, and finding interesting insects. Even a ladybird. With three spots on one wing and not a single spot on the other, Button found it on the fallen tree that looked like a big bear asleep in the grass. Button had forgotten about the big scary tree bear until that very moment. Supposing it came into his dreams tonight. He couldn't take the risk. Mummy, Daddy, he called. Button told them all about his scary tree bear worry. Daddy said, "Shall I give you something nice to think about before you go to sleep?" Nice thoughts always keep the bad ones away. Yes, please. Button nodded. Feeling much braver about the scary tree bear already. Well, wondered Daddy, shall I tell you about a day when there were no scary things? A day so happy that if you think of it tonight, only sweet dreams will come. What day was that, Daddy? Asked Button. Daddy kissed the top of his nose and said, "The day you were born." It was one of those days that started misty, but I knew a hot and sunny day was just around the corner. A bit like today, asked Button. When I woke up, I couldn't even see over the berry bush. Yes. Just like today, Daddy smiled, and on the day you were born, I gathered the juiciest berry and stickiest honey. A bit like today, asked Button, as he remembered lying in the warm sun eating his sweet breakfast berries. Yes, said Daddy, but even more delicious. On the day you were born. Daddy continued, "Your big sisters were so happy they found special presents for you, like my lucky pine cone," said Button, "and my little log boat. And did they want to play with me too?" "Oh yes," laughed Daddy. "They wanted to play with you right there and then." But Mummy said you needed to grow a little first. And now I've grown," said Button. "We played so much. Today we had to jump in two rivers for to cool down. When evening came," remembered Daddy, "I took you in my arms to watch your first ever sunset and sing you a lullaby." Just like every evening, yawned Button. He loved watching the sun go down with Daddy and singing songs that made them laugh. 
And on your very first night, said Daddy quietly, you are so tired, you fell fast asleep. Mummy and I watched over you, and no scary tree bear and bad dreams came to disturb our little one. Just like tonight, said Button. Yes, whispered Daddy. And Daddy was right. Only sweet dreams came. And that is the end of the story. Hope you liked it. It wasn't a bad dream story. And this story will probably get all your bad dreams right. I hope you read it with me. And if you did, then like this video. And hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Goodbye.